beautiful witches, welcome back to my channel, Cali Contour is here. Today, we are doing five hyped products that are worth it, and five hyped products that are just not worth it. So, let's get to it. Now, the definition of hype might vary a bit. You know, I, I did what I could. I don't buy all the new makeup releases, you know. I'm not wealthy by any means, so I I do what I can. Let's talk about foundation. So, this foundation I love, and everybody's raving about it, and I totally agree. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator, and it is amazing. Um, does it have SPF in it? No, it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. Um, it just is very glowy and radiant on the face. It lasts a while. It's kind of like low, medium coverage, so you don't have to worry too much about getting a good color match. And I just really like it. Now, something that I don't like, and I'm wearing it today and i feel like it's kind of patchy i had to try really hard to blend it out i don't love it this is the um mm -hmm, uma by sharon c flawless in real life skin perfecting foundation and i just i had to keep on blending and then when i did my eyes and i pulled my eye down to do my eyeliner like the foundation disappeared under my eyes and i had to like blend again it was awful and the shade match is not great it's a bit pale and it's kind of yellow too i don't think you can tell because of my ring light let me turn it off for a second i know you can't really see how yellow it is but it's yellow um, I just don't like it. It's also very, very sheer. Like, it's supposed to be, you know, skin perfecting, like, foundation. It's supposed to be, it's not a skin tint. It's, it says medium to full coverage on the back. And it says transfer proof. Cool. I couldn't even pull down my eye to do my eyeliner without it transferring onto my finger. That is not true. This is definitely not medium full coverage. I would call it shield. Um, mm, I I don't like it. And you know, I I used so I used this product today, and I also used another product that I don't like. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. I don't know how you're supposed to use this because clearly it's not a concealer. Because, like, you can see under my eyes pretty well. Um, I did put a foundation under my eyes, so that helped. But, like, here, let me show you what it looks like when I put it on. It's just, like, glowy. And it's very sheer. See that? And it just blends out into nothing. I don't know how you're supposed to use this. I don't like it. Some people do. I don't. Okay, blush. So the blush that I'm wearing right now that I love is the Pixie On The Glow Blush. And I have it in the shade Ruby. It is just a, like, apple of your cheeks, beautiful red. And I don't really like the packaging. It does look like a deodorant stick. Um, and it's, mm, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of chunky. But it's just so radiant and glowy, and I love the color. It lasts a good amount of time, too. Now, blushes that I don't like, these are little putty blushes from e.l.f. And I wish I could tell you the shade names, but they're nowhere on here. Nowhere on here. That is, I don't know. I don't know. And this one is also, I don't know, who knows? Um, I mean, I guess I could find out online. I'll, I'll try to look it up and see if I can figure it out. But they're really pretty. They just don't last that long, I find. I hate the packaging because I don't know what the shade name is. Um, it's just, I'm just not about these. I, I'm decluttering them because I never use them let's heal let's try to use this dark one and then i can show you what i mean 
Okay, we're blending it. We're blending it. It gets kind of patchy. It's not really blending anymore. Kind of patchy. Blend it out more. Blend it out more. Kind of looks like a blues now. I don't know about that. Now I have to make it match though, don't I? Oh, why did I do this? Uh, because it's almost 2 a.m. and I'm kind of manic. That's why I did it. Yep. So, I mean, it's not terrible. I just, it's really the packaging that gets me. It's, I, I, I guess it's the packaging, really. But I just, I don't know. They frustrate me. I'm not a fan. Now, this would be, like, number six. Um, and we haven't gotten to number six yet. But I just threw this in here for shits and giggles. I don't like this cream blush either. This is the Urban Decay face and lip tint in bang and i thought i would love this color but it's just not that special it is very sheer and it disappears like that like it's just gone um wow i'm really piling on the blush today i mean i guess i have to if i am testing these for you okay a product that i love this is from morphe 2 this is the only product that i have by them and this is the jelly eye shimmer in starry sky and look how pretty it is it's just really like gentle and very sheer here let me swatch it for you it's just very sheer and light okay something else that i really love i have gone through so many of these this is the urban decay brow blade and i use the shade blackout um i've also used two ginger snaps but these are just perfect um i go through the pencil a lot quicker than i go through uh any the um the ink on it but i love it like i can do my perfect like gothic brow with these so simply my favorite you know what i hate though this fucking eyeshadow palette this is the worst this is the revolution shadow palette in i don't fucking know Makeup Revolution London. I don't know. It's just awful. If you see something that looks like this in a store and you're like, ooh, pretty colors, don't fucking buy it. Because does this show up? Look. Is that showing up? No. Is that showing up? Not really. Is that showing up? Okay, a little bit. What about this real yellow tan thing? Oh, it's a shimmer. Hmm. Didn't know that. <laughs> um, what about this up here? No, doesn't show up. Let's try. Oh, this blue is actually pretty. It's kind of creamy too. Yeah, but it's very, it's very faint. This is just awful. I wanted to put it on my eyes to show you how awful it was, but I couldn't get it to show up. Okay, okay. You know what I love though? Is this lip gloss. And I don't, I'm not a big lip gloss fan, but I picked this up when it first came out. This is Buxom's Full On Plumping Lip Cream in Bahama Mama. And I just think it looks so nice. It is a very gentle plumping, but I think it really does have an effect. And it's just the prettiest orange cream color. Okay, I think. That is everything. Oh, wait a minute. Another product I hate. Okay, the last one. This is the Rimmel London Jelly Highlighter. And it just dissolves into air. Like, I did not use all this. Either it wasn't um, very full in the tin thing. It leaked, even though there's no signs of it leaking, or it just dissolved. And I think it dissolved by magic. That's the theory I'm going with. And do you even see... Let's try to put some on. I mean, it's pretty, 
but trust me, it doesn't last, and it's just, it doesn't last, and what's the point of makeup if it doesn't last? Personally, I don't like makeup that doesn't last, I really don't, so, meh. Okay, that was five products that I really like, and six products that I don't like. I hope you enjoyed my 2 a.m. manic video. I will be back at some other random time. Um, stay safe, stay real, heal yourselves, peace.